very quick striking offense. We're, we're capitalizing um, in key situations. We're not giving away at bats. And it's going hand in hand with our pitching. There's no mystery to it. We're getting outstanding starting pitching. The line is moving offensively. There's a rhythm to our game, and it's all beginning with our starting pitching. Tori, what did Rick do differently today than he did in Toronto last time he faced these guys? Well, I, I think um, that outing, he may have been a little fatigued, a little tired. Obviously, he, he found himself on the disabled list. But what's really impressive is how he's come back since he's come off the disabled list. Um, it's the length of his outings. It's uh, the easy, quick innings. It's allowing him to throw into the seventh, eighth inning. Fastball command, movement of his, his two-seam fastball, location of his two-seam fastball, confidence in all of his pitches. Uh, and he worked hard to get to that point. He deserves so much credit for what's going on right now. Tori, did he uh, bend your rear to come out for the eighth, or was he at the right pitch count? Mm. Rick... Uh, Rick is always after me to go deeper into the game. He wants to, he wants to uh, get into that 110 pitch area. Um, but he was he was going out to start the eighth no matter what, uh, unless he was at that 110 pitch limit. So Carl and I had spoke about it at 100 pitches. We wanted to give him give him a chance to touch the eighth inning, see what happened. Sorry, Bruce Davis made some pretty uh, impressive plays uh, off that wall for a guy that's yeah. Never Well, it's looked like he's played there a long time. Hard to believe it's only been five games. He's catching balls off the wall. And any time you're doing that, you're showing a lot of confidence. You know your spacing. You know where you're at. You know um, your angles. And for him to move over from right field to left field and, and take to it that quickly has been very impressive. Why is Bradley on fire? What are some of the things he's doing right? Well, I, I think that... Uh, there's a, just a general overall confidence that he's showing right now that, that uh, he can walk up to the plate and hit in any count, hit any pitch, in, in any part of the, um, of the at-bat. And that is from a lot of hard work behind the scenes that he's put in. Inside of it, the front foot's down, surveying the strike zone, able to take a balanced approach to the ball. What's allowing him to use the whole field the way he has, to homer to left, to double to right? The what's the what? Doing, the way, what's allowing him to use the whole field the way he's been? Well, you know, I think a young player comes up and all he wants to do is, is uh, you know, hit balls at the pull side. You, you start to pull off. I think he's got a feel for his approach and where he wants to stay to see pitches at in the hitting zone. So I mean, that, that's kind of like a hitting philosophy. So he's staying in the middle of the diamond, which is enabling him to hit a lot of pitches, not be one-dimensional. So... Um, powered all fields. We knew he had good power. We've just been waiting to see it, and it's upon us. Tori, you haven't bunted a whole lot. Um, right. What, what made you want to do that early in the game today against this team? Those were not signs that were given. Those were baseball plays by those two players. Um, I'm more of the belief of breaking the game open in that, in that part of the game. Pablo just coming back, um, he thought – you just want to have a productive at bat and, and be a make a baseball play. Uh, Blake Swihart, much in the same. Um, I asked for two good reasons. He gave me two good reasons why. I explained why I felt like he could have broken the game open in that situation. So we might see that evolve from these guys that they're not going to worry about making such a big baseball play and and doing the politically correct thing. But the Boston Red Sox way is to go up and bang the ball, and and uh, they're going to slowly understand that. I want them to make that decision on their own, that if they're thinking about bunting, to erase it as quickly as possible. Your, your team's been playing well, but do you think Toronto coming in, they've been very hot in first place. Do you think that kind of got some of the best out of your guys? Today? Got some of our best? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think our guys are ready for this challenge. I, I'm, I mentioned it yesterday. Our team is playing good baseball. We knew they were coming to town. I, we're in a good place. Our guys were ready to play, and it showed today. Tori, when the, when the two bunts result in four runs, yeah. you say to yourself, oh, well, maybe those guys uh, had the right thought or, or yeah, are they going to do it next time? Yeah, it was a good baseball play, and it did result in four runs. But the way I look at it, in that point in the game, I want it to turn into eight runs. And the, the guys that bunted have those capabilities of doing that. I had a very similar conversation the other day with Mookie. Mookie did, did something. He bunted on his own. And... It's about the education of, of what's happening in the moment and what our 
philosophy is, yes, there will be times that we want to bunt. There will be times where we're going to be in crunch time and we want to get guys in a scoring position. But at that point in time in the game, it's about blowing the game open and go ahead and take your at-bats. The young players want to be such good baseball players and show us that they're thinking baseball. I love that. But once again, we're, we're going to help them mature through the process. It did work out today, but I want four to be eight next time. And I think those guys that were up there have the capabilities of blowing the game open. Yeah, Matt Barnes threw one inning in Pawtucket. I just got a quick review. Uh, it was 18 pitches, and everything went well. He's going to come up here tomorrow, just get evaluated by our, by our uh, medical team, and I'll have an update for you guys at that point. I'll go ahead and announce that uh, Aro and Rich Hill will be um, called up for tomorrow. Those are our two additions. Now, Tori, it's conceivable by this time, by tomorrow morning, you'd be six and a half games out of the wild card race with 25 left. Is that even on your radar, that possibility of making the playoffs at this point in time? That's a loaded question. If I yes. say no, we have no chance, then I'm a crazy man. If I say yes, I'm crazy for believing it. But I will say this. Until we have an E next to our name, our kids are playing an aggressive baseball, and they believe something special is happening here.